Okay, then, uh, Team C, are you, are you guys ready to go by chance? Talian and Nada? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, this is um, project and programming more policy. And actually, we were investigating the, the unexpected outbreak of the COVID-19 and how it changed the view of all architects and urban planners thinking about the model for a good city and how the good city, how, how the pandemic resistant city actually should be and what modification we can add to the city to in order to respond to the current situation of the pandemic and ensure the safety of all the citizens. So, and uh, we actually started to think about, uh, to study the network of the, of the given area in Seoul and Korea. And uh, in order to, to, to uh, understand more about the network of students, we actually went to uh, the action on site surveying and using different methodologies about counting the manual counting through the pedestrian uh, flow. Uh, to the to different uh, destinations and um, how this uh, flows actually uh, is, uh, matches the production model that is actually used and to understand the pattern of people uh, in the study area and one the observations uh, from the from the site surveying we found that, that the market area or retail areas was actually the most uh, crowded uh, part of the city and uh, it's not the safest part. Uh, so we started to take this uh, to take this uh, retail areas as the, our start point to study um, uh, to study the the flow of the people and the flow of the to the area, and how this actually can be adjusted and how effect this would happen uh, would affect the network uh, flow. So, uh, if we impose some uh, changes to in, in order to, to ensure social distancing and uh, in, uh, ensure uh, all the safety regulations. So upon thinking about the area, we started to think about the factors that could actually uh, ch change the flow of the people in the area, starting from the distance and how far are people willing to talk and the density of the area, because it's very dense area and the road hierarchies and the sidewalks its condition and width and how can it change the flow of the people and the network in the area, the gravity of the people and the, uh, the presence of so much opportunities in the area, especially it is found in the center of the study area. And if there is any green areas and how could that would actually affect the flow of the people. So, we wanted to access which point was actually had the highest flow of the people and had the highest factor to change the flow of the network in the area. So we did multiple, ana multiple analysis on the area to understand which node would actually represent the main entrance to the market. And thus we can carry on uh, using different simulations and uh, different adjustments in this node to understand the uh, the, 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 the flow of the people and it started to make it as a start point for us to, uh, to, under, uh, to make our hypothesis and uh, ensure the, 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 all the safety regulations and the effect of our hypothesis and scenarios on this area. So we carried on a hypothesis uh, from people coming from different origins from homes and retail, uh, from home to retail areas and from parks to retail area and the, from the metro stations to the retail area and understand, to understand the pattern of people to each flow and the, how can these destinations actually affect the, the flow of the people. So we started to contain the between us analysis to understand the high road hierarchies and that people would take uh, to understand uh, to access the area. And it's actually, you can see how this 
the wolf color represents the high people, the highest point which people would actually take to enter the area. And you can see from the homes and from the relay, from the bark analysis, it is almost the same uh, point which has the highest hierarchy people. However, in the metro, people would actually take the, another entrance, which is the red, in the red mark, uh, red spot, to enter the area. And also for the gravity analysis and which consider the accessibility of people who are reaching the destinations, you can see this, how different destinations uh, can actually affect the access of the area. But to some point, we actually also concluded that the main corners uh, in here and here has the highest, uh, the highest uh, factor in attracting people to enter the uh, retail market from this point. And that actually did happen also with the metro, even though it was different in the between us. And you can see through the reach analysis that uh, access the different uh, accessible destination areas within the area that still had the highest points except for the metro analysis. And we did that in order to access the different entrances of the area that we want to take to access uh, to begin our uh, algorithmic approach to the study of the of the network and uh, how we can put uh, uh, this uh, this regulation safety regulation social distancing so upon the our analysis we concluded that there is two potential points uh, the first potential point was actually here at the corner which had been the main access uh, for the pedestrian which coming from the residential areas and people coming from parks and which actually attracted a lot of people also coming from the metro and had contained as it had the on high gravity index. And the second potential area was one from the main street, which would mostly people would take this route if they are coming from the metro analysis to the uh, from the metro to uh, to this area. And uh, it has a good uh, between us and uh, Ability for other people also coming from different destinations, but we chose our uh, first uh, potential point as it has the highest potential to affect the flow of the network to be an approach uh, for our algorithmic approach, which uh, Darian will explain. Thank you. Is she still here? Maybe she has a network problem. Okay, I will start. Yeah, yeah, maybe Diane can keep going. Yes. Before explaining our site design suggestion, I would like to explain our two algorithmic work we have been working. First is our data simplification algorithm. Uh, we need to simplify our data because we have a we uh, we have a home data. This home data is so really big, so we can simplify this. Our first strategy is is to use grid system. Um, a grid system. Uh, we put all the points inside the grid together. At the center of grid, we can simplify our data, but there are a lot of deviation. So our second approach is to use, uh, use to our nearby no node. Uh, we, by collecting points on nearby node, we can able to simplify our data with small deviation. So we select this method. And our second algorithmic approach is uh, social distancing and network generator. Let's see our short video. Like this. Scatter the human point on our target site, our main access point, and your video is not playing. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you have to share the whole screen. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Okay, let's. Let's. It's our social distancing and network generator. We scatter all the human points on our main access point, and then we can get a social distancing boundary and pedestrian network by using this. And then we can get, we can find also how many people can be there in our site. So the next is our overall, uh, overall design suggestion. There are, there are some regulation. First of all, vehicle access regulation and visual guide can give both of our market and street, main access, access street. And, and, and especially in marketplace, there are there are pre-designed pedestrian line and pedestrian number limitation on our market places. By using our social distancing generator algorithm and smartphone, we can manage our mar market area. If you want to come into our market, you just check a QR admission. And there, but there are many people and you, you can also make a reservation by using your smartphone. And market area rule, uh, uh, people maintain 50 social distance by following just our social distance boundary circle and work on the pedestrian network. And we need to take a QR code when coming and out, going out. And this is left, left on the side, I, this picture is our original condition. And on the right, there is our suggestion illustration. There are orange circle is our social boundary, safe boundary, and white line is our social network pedestrian path. And the lead circle is marketplace, for example, cafe, and market bank like this. On the, on the right side, there are, there are access street. On the bottom side, this street is relatively on latest streets. So we can give a visual aid for access street on the right side. And finally, we can also analyze our internal algorithm network. The first analysis is our Diggly analysis. This shows how many connection at one point. The red one is have a high, high, high value. So red one have many connection. The second analysis is the, our betweenness analysis. This analysis show which connection line can be easily overloaded. Uh, if you, if you ca uh, can see on the light picture, there is the board and red line have a high value. That line can be easily overloaded and the people come into our market. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. And Nada, maybe do you have anything to add by chance? Because you are disappeared in the middle. Uh, no, I was actually giving the chance to Darian to share his screen. Okay. Great, thank you. Well done. Um, Tara, maybe can you share your screen again? And uh, we can pause on the best, your best uh, slide. And we can talk over that slide. Um, my screen or Darian's screen? Uh, any of yours, sorry. Oh, I think we, ha because we have lived in another country, we have make, we have make uh, each other's part separately. So Fine. no one, no one have, 
uh, whole presentation. Ada, I think you share your screen first. Yeah. Well, I think it, it's a very in-depth work and it's also very clear that you have a very uh, specific scenario-based proposal at the end and walked us through with a very rigorous set of analysis. So it's very clear. Yeah, actually in the case of Team C, uh, actually not a has been researched through all these hypotheses and developed uh, the logic. And then Darihan uh, applied it into computational design through the scripting and everything. So they had uh, quite a good match as a team, I think. Yeah, um, in in this team, uh, they are even though they are uh, they are living different city and they have uh, like time differences, but they are really uh, collaborate each other very well. And Nada really focus on the NNN tool analysis, so she study about the uh, general kind of uh, site analysis uh, at a urban scale for this whole site, Mangwon and. Hapjong station areas and uh, they end up uh, uh, find out the most interesting spot for their uh, street scale uh, design uh, proposal. So uh, I think they really focus on how the uh, very unique this market area works well and uh, even after COVID-19 what they can do is that even though particularly this, uh, this four-way uh, street points, conjunction point is very crowded and very uh, intensively pedestrian, pedestrian flows are, uh, are happening there. So they try to find a solution how they can uh, smartly um, uh, make people can uh, disperse in this uh, specific location, but at the same time, they also uh, bring a very interesting programs. And so they want to keep the, the unique characteristics of the site as well. So I think they really uh, find a smart way how to uh, uh, start with the urban uh, network analysis to narrow down to the, the street scale and find a, a smart solution. Uh, by using six feet, uh, dis keep the uh, six feet uh, distance and also bring the programs on the side as well. So it's very short time workshop, but they did very uh, hard, good work and very focused on uh, find the very specific uh, solutions and try to uh, merge with uh, from the, the urban scale to street scale and even propose the, uh, the kind of uh, application as well. So um, I think it's very interesting approach and really develop further on not only just the network analysis, but also uh, just like a computational design a proposal. So they have a very strong uh, evidence uh, they proposed and they provided throughout this research. So uh, as a tutor, I'm, I'm very happy with their work and their effort uh, to produce this results. So yeah, I thank you a lot uh, to Dalian and Nada. I can tell, I mean, I mean, how such an amount of work, I mean, I can tell like, yes, like, it was it was really intensive two weeks I can guess um, so so great result and great research yeah, thanks for sharing that and thank you especially to Nada because uh, when we have tutorial it was uh, always like two a.m. in the morning at her local time so thank you for your effort and everything and your participation thank you guys. It was a bit interesting and, and really worth it uh, workshop to participate in. 
Um, actually, uh, can, can I can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. So, sure. Um, if you if you go to the uh, the second part of the presentation, um, in, I don't uh, if you, right. Uh, so, if you go to uh, the very last page of the presentation, last page. Oh yes. Can you go to the can last you, Can page? you scroll down all the way to the left? Yes. So, yes. Um, I mean, um, could you please explain uh, what exactly are you proposing uh, here in this diagram? I think it's um, it's just a uh, analysis uh, between the different nodes and um, you know uh, their uh, traffic uh, in the network. So uh, are we, uh, are you proposing uh, that, for example, uh, on the diagram uh, on the right hand side, so red is uh, very congested, uh, very dense, uh, dense uh, uh, traffic mm -hmm. network, uh, if I understand this diagram correctly. And then uh, if you move up uh, on the uh, uh, top uh, right hand side, um, this is uh, relatively, um, you know, uh, oh, pre uh, right. Yes. Yes. So, um, are, are, so, um, is it is it uh, sort of like a, a visualization um, of the uh, the current situation uh, based upon um, you know social distance uh, between uh, the node, or um, are you uh, implicating uh, some sort of uh, physical um, um, uh, thing like you know um, the uh, the um, the pedestrian path, uh, the pavement, or something like that. Just, just uh, out of curiosity. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. In in short, my question is, uh, what is your um, final product uh, out of this uh, research? Um. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be uh, difficult here. <laughs> I was just curious. <laughs> so, what we were trying to do, and and this, we were actually trying to access which point in the main market that we should start on as an initial part that would affect the network of the people in the in this area. And we were trying to impose a solution for social distancing that people would use inside the area. So it can provide them with a safe journey in, 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 such, a, in such a point or such a note which actually has a high flow in the network and high pedestrian uh, flow and uh, density area. Right, so uh, basically uh, you basically feed uh, this information to your uh, smartphone app right and then you kind of uh use the app and then uh, the map on the uh, you know uh, on, on your phone uh to navigate yourself um to a safer area in this um, um zone right yeah so uh, the okay. number okay, of the circles which yeah uh, if i understand correctly um i think there should be two parts um i mean three parts basically the first part is NADA was focusing on to understand the sort of um, entire site condition by um, you know, using the network analysis so that we are able to see like what is the you know, crowded place or which one is like the place where, where we can be true you know, to modulate the path on the site. And then they picked a particular sort of um, entrance, which is a very, let's say, um, complex, not complex, but two things happening, like accident entrance things. And then I guess uh, that Hyun tried to, um, you know, deploy a sort of um, spacing algorithm to make a six feet like satellite uh, spaces so that people can see visual sort of a marker on the street so that they can like, just like, a, you know, um, the grasshopper, you know, just jumping to, uh, different types of uh, uh, jumping to agent um, agents, the software stuff. I think that this is the idea behind the thing. And then the uh, the diagram you can see um, on the screen right now is uh, 
it's more about like the um, the mathematic sort of um, equation, a little bit network analysis. The B two analysis is sort of a very well known um, and well defined sort of um, analysis to figure out the basically human footprint based on the um, the, the people's flows. So the reason we can see very strong the red color uh, on the, uh, the on the right um, picture is because that there is uh, as I said the exit and and the um, entrance was uh, located. So that makes sense because people once they enter that particular place, they because we have a very particular like let's say the guideline origin origin point and then destination, so that we are able to see which uh, you know. Uh, people use which network based on their position I and mean, starting point. So I think that this is uh, uh, it has nothing to do with the Palestine, like let's say real flow. It's more about like accumulate footprint, um, so that we are able to which one is the crowded or not. So that um, Darion try to um, you know uh, let's say um, try to modify the network connect in order to um, decrease the, um, the, the flow of the people on the exit and entrance area, I guess. Uh, and with Jung Hyun? Yeah. Yes. Jung Hyun, could you uh, elaborate uh, the, uh, uh, the bit <laughs> a little bit in that context? Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, it is very clear. Um, yeah. but I, th I think, you know, if, if you can use uh, the VR, um, uh, in your in your smartphone, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, if you um, somehow uh, integrate uh, this type of type of data uh, into your uh, VR environment in your on your smartphone, uh, then you can use it um, uh, for like a, a guide uh, to um, you know safe path uh, through this area or something. Uh, I think this is a really interesting idea. Uh, thanks for the explanation. Yeah, and also on top of that, this between this analysis is also controlled by the weight, which is uh, the 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 weight also control the the flow density as well. So I think this is just focus on the where is origin and where is destinations. And probably uh, Dalian just give the all the the same weights on the on the all the points, but once uh, it generated and in, uh, in we imagine the realistic situation, maybe center of this uh, site will have a large circle, so it will have a larger weight. So the, the this color range will be changed, right? Maybe the if the network near to the large uh, circle, which uh, people can visit more, like within this area, like if there is a retail or shop, so people will accumulate more than other locations. So. I think there is a kind of potential what could be the next step is that Dalian you also design about or thinking about the different weight uh, given in this site and then you can also do another uh, between this analysis and then uh, make a more realistic kind of network uh, condition um, uh, after this. So yeah, and also as um, yeah, uh, Ujae-sung tutor saying that uh, this could be a really good potential to use for your application kind of in VR, like people can uh, receive lots of good information, you know, people can take their safest kind of route choices, you know, that was our very initial kind of uh, our like all, whole team, you know, like we study about the pedestrian route choice analysis and so on. So. Yeah, I think your research really showed a good potential. What uh, could be the next? And even in the, the uh, daily life, you know, if people have uh, information, people can uh, take their safety uh, route choice uh, while they are traveling in the city. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree that there are lots of ways to take this on further. Of course, you did a great job until uh, with, within the given amount of time. Uh, but if you could have also used this analysis to maybe suggest different programs for this uh, each and every different single uh, circle, circular pods, for example, 
that could be uh, another way of taking this analysis on further. Um, um, one thing I, I think I mentioned uh, before, uh, uh, but I, I am still doubt that like, they will actually uh, follow your path as it is. Like, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't they go from here to there, for example? So uh, I, I think uh, you, you might also uh, want uh, could have been uh, a bit more like instrumentalizing this network and really like use this as your very specific uh, uh, design tool and very actively just suggest uh, what kind of physical uh, in installations or or uh, or or physical like urban furnitures will occupy these spaces that are not a circulatory system. But, but I, I'm, of course, uh, with the given time, you, you manage to pull out uh, the conceptual scenario. Um, but what I'm, just take this as a suggestion, maybe, if you're interested in taking this further. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's take, take one more comment and let's move on. Uh, and we can yeah. have further com conversation when we come back right. to you again. Yeah. So for me, I actually, I I can see the quite deep potential to develop this proposal for the future. So it is really, really good exercise and proposal. But I have a just simple question for the first step. And I heard you guys got site survey to evaluate your analysis. So how much did you find? How much did you did you match? those between your analysis of the network and real conditions. I'm just wondering. I think that I explained that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so from the from the calculation that the guys had on the site, we did the uh, a, a linear and uh, linear uh, linear considerations um, between uh, between the the side uh, the the real uh, calculated value that the guys observed and the production model that we used uh, during grasshopper, and we evaluated the an R value uh, for the optimum uh, value. It would be actually between 0.6, and our value was actually 0.55. So it was a really close uh, ratio to the to the to the real value. Okay. Well, I think what Nada is saying that the, the value was compared to the, the digital value and used it, used the real value as a test to compare uh, with the, the calculation to see whether it's the discrepancy is too, too big or it's close enough. Uh, but I think uh, I, I know the other units will show a bit more about how they actually surveyed. So, we need to move on, so thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, good work. Yeah, very thank well you. done, thank you very thank much. You. Yeah. Thank you.